Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video we will be learning how to create a responsive signer form with a slider using our simple HTML and a materialized CSS. And if you are new to my channel, do hit the like button and then subscribe my channel. So without any further discussion, let's begin our video tutorial. And before starting our video tutorial, first of all let's see what we are making today. Knows that I'm breaking down. Everybody knows I ain't faking now. Everybody knows my heart's faking now. Yeah, she hates me now. I made mistakes, but now I don't ever want to be alone. Okay, here's a simple index.html format. To get this format, you need to go to the given GitHub link in the description and then go to a download code and you can download a zip file and extract it and use it. Okay. Okay, now what we have here is a CDN for our Google icon fonts and a CDN for our materialized CSS. And down below we have our script source for our jQuery and a script source for our JavaScript. And then come up to our body part inside a slider, create a section tag with a class of a container section. And then inside create a div with a class of a row. And then inside create another div with a class of a column that s dot l6 okay and then inside create uh, h4 tag okay and then write a learn programming okay now open it in a browser okay here you can see our learn programming okay spelling mistake just correct the spell we can now create another div with a class of a slider and inside create uh, another list with a class of a slides okay now create inside a list and add an image source of uh, in a folder img slash one jpg we can now remove this As you can see, nothing is uh, nothing has appeared. Just copy paste this uh, three times. Can I come down to a script part and add a jQuery of a dollar to a slider and for a slider? Okay. Now add, I think it should work. Okay, here we have our slider. Now uh, let's just change the image. Let's change the number to two, three, and four. And last one is my PNG. So change to PNG. Okay, here we have our slider. Okay, it changed itself. Uh, we don't have to change it. I am just showing you that uh, we have a different image. Now let's make it to our center alignment. This learn programming. For that, go to add foot tag and add a class of a center okay it looks perfect now let's add some uh, small details on below the image our slider for that create a h6 tag and add a class of center again and create two bold tags that is b tag and inside the first b tag we write uh, sign up and in middle write end and on the second B tag, we write learn everything. Okay. Okay, here we can see our small details as well. Now we'll be working on our sign up form. Now, first of all, uh, let's copy this uh, section in section tag and a uh, in div tag below down the sign up form comment okay now and inside the sign up, sign up form create a div with a class of a colon dot s12 dot l5 okay now and inside create a form tag and inside we create a s4 tag with a class of a center align 
and write a sign up okay and then uh, come down below and create another div with a class of input field okay now and then inside we uh, create a input tag type would be text and give a id of a name and create a label for name you can now write a full name here okay here you can see our full name okay now uh, let's add some space or a column one column space for that write uh, offset l5 on our div class okay now let's add a icon for that I did material icons okay and adding a prefix as well and that would be a uh, account box okay here you can see our uh, okay uh, full name it looks perfect now we'll be doing same for our email password and our calendar as well now just copy paste this div form and then uh, paste it on the second line now just change the name of the icon that would be email and id also would be email type would be email as well and for email and just write uh, example at the red gmail .com. okay okay um okay here uh here's a mistake okay now it should work okay here we have our email box as well text area okay now we'll be doing same for our password as well now just copy paste it as well on the same form tag inside same form tag and change the icon material material icons be password and id would be password as well and the type would be password as well and for password and write here your password here okay here you can see it comes in a bullet that we cannot see now we'd be doing same for our calendar that would be our date of birth now just change the material icon to today and give a id of a date and the type would be text and for would be date and just change this to a uh, date of birth date of birth here okay now here we can write our date as well um, 09 1998 okay okay it looks more good now we'll be adding some uh, checkbox below our date of birth down here now just create another div inside a form tag as well create another div with a class of an input field input field and put a p tag and inside write a gender okay here we can see our gender and create another p tag and inside we write a level and inside level we add a input and this time the type would be checkbox and down below we write a span for a mail okay here we can see our checkbox as well and now we'll be doing same for uh, female and other now just copy paste this level okay and just change the span to female 
and other and use a break tag after each level okay okay now it looks perfect as you can see here now um, we'll be adding uh, accept terms and policy for that uh, create another p tag and write a level create another p tag and write a level and inside level we add a input and type would be checkbox as well and we'll be adding a class that would be filled in and down write a span and write I accept I accept the uh, bold tag that would be B terms of use and privacy policy okay privacy policies okay here we can see our checkbox and our terms of policies use on privacy policy and this is a different checkbox now just uh, change the color of this text to class give a class green text okay now it looks perfect and now uh, as you can see we can make this uh, checkbox to already checked in because uh, we cannot submit or we can sign up without uh, this so write a class so sorry write a check for a check and it would be already checked in a sign up form as you can see we have refreshed and it is already checked now we'll be adding a simple sign up button for that create a div with a class of input field as well and below down we create a button and write a uh, sign up okay here you can see our sign up button now let's change it to a back background and a black background sorry and to a white text for that add a class in a button of a btn with a black background space white text okay here we can see our button now let's move it to our center for that add a input field space center okay it looks perfect okay we have finished making our contact form so let's check it write some uh, name some emails write some letter on emails okay the password is working as well and the date of birth is also working as well and just sign up okay here's email is showing error because we haven't because we aren't using any actually email we are just using text so let's see if our contact form is responsive as well or not okay it is completely responsive as you can see here and the image is also ch changing by itself and it is looking perfect so thanks for watching guys don't forget to like and subscribe my channel see you in the next video bye bye